all right guys i'm using bonzine for this production bonzine contains silver silver sulfadiazine and um, it's majorly for bones so i am using it because we are treating facial redness and facial redness guys is a form of bones you know um the redness didn't just come it came because of chemical bonds and in to some extent we have bacterial activities in it that is what extends the bones from tiny to large so i'm using a whole tube of bonzine cream bonzine cream will help to dry out the redness and restore new cells so right now guys i'm also adding goji berry tube goji berry um tube and cream is what i've been using to treat redness so far until i was able to you know come up with this other lovely recipe in skincare you don't stay on one recipe for long you grow every day and you develop yourself every day so i will be taking three teaspoons of this um goji berry tube goji berry tube is very good for under high treatment is very good for restoration of um, new skin in case of um, redness and um, it's also going to create that soothing relief you want for your face let me also say this guys please go and check my videos and see my review on goji berry face cream and face and face tube you know i said a lot of things there so you know how goji berry behaves goji berry is not a cream you use and you want action immediately or results immediately goji berry takes time to bring results and the result is always lovely guys because um, redness is a form of bone a chemical bone at that so i uh, will be adding scent leaves um um skin protector against sun that is some block you know this the person using this product may decide to go under the sun so we must consider that so i'm adding a teaspoon of scent leaf into this product this is to help protect against ultraviolet rays of the sun to prevent continuous burns as the person continue to use this product and that leads me also to using uh, to the use of um, a most white sunblock cream which contains vitamin c vitamin c helps wound healing guys effectively so this is the content i have in the home before uh, that i've been using before so i don't want to open the other one in my left so i'll continue with this one in my right uh, and and um it contains a tablespoon so i'm going to scoop out everything in it and add to this production guys as i was saying whatever face cream you are using always ensure it contains some block if you don't add some block to your face cream you are knocking um the door for trouble you are knocking the door for hyperpigmentation so guys always make sure your cream contains some block this will help you to improve the appearance of your skin and save you from skin cancer most times because at the end of the day that's what the ultraviolet rays of the sun can result to in a higher level so right now guys i'm adding miracle powder miracle powder so guys, guys miracle powder is very very essential in treating bones or in skin infection it actually contains aloe vera powder aloe vera gel powder aloe vera um, peel powder so it's very important so in this mixture i've added three pinches approximately to this mixture and it's going to help us further treat the redness on the face because it also gives a cooling effect so right now guys i'm going to mix vigorously you have to mix very well i'm still going to add another quantity of miracle powder to this mixture so i will ask you to please watch this video till the end to see how i'm really going to um add it and now i'm going to mix it and 
the actual quantity I am going to add. Other ingredients are still coming on the way. And please, if, if you tend to skip this video, you might not really get the exact ingredients I'm adding because I've mixed some of them already before adding it. So in the video, I will explain what and what I mixed to get what, you know, before adding it to the mixture. So guys, you have to mix very well. If not, your miracle powder will form seed in this production and after you might have served it to your client or, or, or um, deliver it to your client, you your client will not be discovering something like patches, like deaths inside it. The client will not know it's miracle powder. So we have mixed now. So the next thing I'm adding, guys, is goji berry um, soothing serum. I have the soothing serum here. But if you see very well, one is transparent and the other is cloudy. The transparent one is the bottle I have not stampered with, that I have not taken from. I brought it out so I could show you the difference. Remember I told you I have mixed some of these products, you know, um, behind the camera. Um, and I'm going to explain what, why I mixed and what and what I mixed. So this cloudy one, guys, I added um, baby oil to it. That is causing baby oil to eat. Everything in it contains one tablespoon. So I added a tablespoon of um, baby oil to it. So I'm also adding more baby oil to the mixed um, ingredients in the bowl. And I added just a teaspoon to it. So I'm going to be adding the um, soothing serum and the... And the um and um goji berry and uh, baby oil the one I've, I've already mixed guys so you can see right now that it's really very cloudy so i'm going to add it into the mixture now so in all of this mixture we have 15 mils of um baby of um cousin's baby oil so we take time to add everything the reason why i added the oil to this soothing serum first is because the soothing serum will not come out completely the remaining one in the bottle would not come out so i had to dilute it with the baby oil to make sure i get the content out so right now guys we have to mix this product together so you have to mix carefully ensure you mix properly most of these ingredients if you don't mix them well you don't get results sometimes you'll be having hyperpigmentation and patches you would not know it's because of the meal you mix your your product some parts we have all the ingredients some will not have the ingredients so by the time you apply it on your body it's the same effect you will get some parts will be lightening up some will not lighten up so right now guys uh, now I'm going back to Miracle Powder like I told you. So I'm adding 2.5 um, teaspoon of Miracle Powder. Your Miracle Powder can easily solidify itself once it's exposed to air. Don't bother. All you need to do is make sure when you buy your Miracle Powder, you cover it properly and keep it away from air exposure. You can see this one now is almost solidifying. So I will just break a little from it, but it will still melt anyways. It will still melt. So I have approximately 2.5 um, teaspoon of Miracle Powder. So I'm going to take my time to mix it together. I told you guys, don't... Just mix your product anyhow. Take time to mix it very well. Make sure you mix it very, very well. Incorporate all the powders in it. In case you don't want to do it this way, you can just add this miracle powder to your oil. You first of all take your miracle powder, add it to the bowl, and be adding the oil gradually into it. Be adding it gradually and be mixing. Everything will mix together properly. 
and at the end of the day you have a good mix so guys our product is ready so i'm transferring it into the cup right now thank you very much guys for being part of this video please like my video share my videos guys subscribe to my youtube channel if this is your first time and i appreciate every one of you that have been subscribing to my channel my old subscriber the returning ones i appreciate you all thank you so much guys for being part of this video so guys this is the pack for the goji berry soothing serum so guys please go back to my video and check my explanation on goji berry um, cream thank you so